Hello, I'm Cynthia Rivera, General Manager of National Aerospace Solutions, otherwise known as NAS. We perform test operations and sustainment activities for the United States Air Force Arnold Engineering Development Complex, or AEDC. We have operations at Arnold Air Force Base, Tennessee, the National Full Scale Aerodynamics Complex at Moffett Field, California, and the Hyper Velocity Wind Tunnel 9 in White Oak, Maryland. AEDC has the U.S. Air Force's premier aerospace testing facilities. Of its 43 test facilities, 28 are currently active, 20 are unique in the United States, and 12 are unique in the world. Virtually every high-performance flight system in use by the Department of Defense and all NASA manned spacecraft have been tested at AEDC's facilities. Today, AEDC is testing the next generation of aircraft and space systems. NAS supports efforts to educate and train the next generation of engineers through partnerships with universities. To help us achieve this goal, we established a university consortium that has Georgia Tech, MIT, Purdue, and Texas A&M as its members. One of their responsibilities is to support the NAS Engineering Internship Program. In the summer of 2017, we hired our first interns at our Tennessee location. Fifteen students from the consortium academic institutions, Tennessee universities, and other universities across the country came to work at Arnold Air Force Base, not only to learn, but also to help us solve complex problems. Here in their own words are some of those interns describing their experiences. So here at ADC I worked in the mechanical design department working with piping calculations and uh, valve sizing for different valves that are sized on the base. I was put in facility technology under Andy Eskew and I had two projects. One of them was evaluating a toolbox of Simulink and the other one was rewriting a program that was written in Fortran. So I worked on hypersonic radiation modeling, um, essentially just high enthalpy flow fields, high Mach numbers, essentially uh, we were looking at some test cases around here with like the ArcJet heaters for instance. So you know material testing and stuff they're trying to ablate the material or see how much the material ablates and uh, with that you got to take some measurements along the way in between testing to make sure you're getting uh, the accurate flow field and you know temperature values, pressure values. It was a really good experience, probably one of those unique experiences I've actually had to say. I was able to work as a test ops engineer, treated as a test ops engineer, and I worked over I worked over at Seaside basically replacing different systems. Well, um, when I got my phone interview, they asked me, uh, they told me that I had an option of what project I wanted to work on. And I really liked that I got a choice. It wasn't, hey, this is what you're working on. It's, hey, what, would, what do you have m most interest in? And so when I came here, the project that I worked on was developing an interva interface between a data acquisition system and a browser-based system. So that um, it's called a system status monitor, and it's a tool that they use out in the test cells to show the status of the different programs and computers that are running. So I'm an aerospace major, so working in mechanical design, I've worked with a bunch of mechanical engineers this summer. And so I would like to work out in um, PWT, which is the propulsion wind tunnels, and I'm hoping to work out there this next summer and then hopefully full time if I like it out there. So, but I would have never known that if I wouldn't have come out here for the first time and to see what I don't want to do, I guess. There was this actuator basically I needed to make replacements for, and I needed to calculate the torque for that system and I needed design help in order to figure out how to go about that process. So I worked with the engineers over in design as well as the engineers over at Seaside to figure out the best way and the best solution to replace that actuator. They had a lot of cool stuff here. It was the biggest one, world-class facilities. Can't go wrong with that. Yeah. Testing cool stuff and then a, a lot of the modeling and stuff that they were doing in the technology to group, that was all kind of where I was at in terms of my research and stuff back at school. So it was very relevant to what I was already doing. Being out here and being able to see the different areas, I know now what area I'd like to work in. That's something that I really don't think I would have be able, been able to ascertain before coming out here where I'd want to be. And so coming out here and making relationships and being able to meet people and getting to know just where I want to be was really neat. And to get the connections and get my foot in the door for being able to work here after college was really something special. 
I can't remember a day that I wasn't actually looking forward to go to work. My main mentor was Margaret Smith and she was probably the world's greatest mentor. She helped, EDAPS is such a big system and she answered so many questions that I had. I was able to get, make good strong relationships with the craftsmen they had there as well as several of the other engineers, especially in design or in the software group that they had as well. So I was able to get a pretty broad aspect of what they had here. So they try to, they'll try to fit you based on your interests and they do a pretty good job of it, but no process is perfect in that. Um, and with that, I mean, there's some flexibility here. I do have a friend, he wasn't enjoying what he was doing, so he asked if he could potentially switch out to a different area and do something else. And they said, sure, and they switched him out and the project was a huge success once he got on the one that he liked. And then, uh, yeah, they were willing to work with him and he did great work for him. And the new area, they had to adapt real quick, but even they said, no, we appreciated having him. So the company's flexible for that. You can find something you're going to do here that you actually enjoy doing. I got to help with testing the F-135. They put me as a primary test ops engineer over in the SL the facility. Upper management, they're very approachable. The top guys like Dr. Whitlow, the technical director here, he's you know, very approachable. He told us, he's like, yeah, if you guys are in the area and come by my office, we can go grab lunch or something, just knock on the door. Don't be afraid to knock. Like They're very approachable, personable people. Uh, if you're coming out here, I highly recommend going whitewater rafting. So me and some of the interns went out in the Okoe River and whitewater rafting, and it was a once-in-a-lifetime experience. It's, a, it's actually a really difficult river, but it was really cool. We had an awesome guide. We had a great time, and so I highly recommend going whitewater rafting while you're here if you're going to come. This is kind of the furthest away from Kansas I've been, and, you know, they have stuff that you guys see all the time, waterfalls and hikes and, you know, Kansas doesn't have hikes, it's flat. <laughs> so to be able to go and see all these falls and I remember me and Trevor, we went cliff diving, that was really cool and we went out to the lake and went tubing and skiing and weightboarding and we went down to Atlanta, which is a huge city. I know you guys probably see it all the time, but there's no cities like that over in Kansas, so that was really cool. So it's just some of the stuff that we did outside with the other interns I thought was really cool. As you can see, NAS is an exciting place to intern and to work. Thank you for your time and interest in NAS and AEDC. If you would like to learn more about internships or jobs available with NAS, our human resources team is available to help. Intern and job openings can be found at our National Aerospace Solutions website at www.nas-llc.us. Thank you.